Hi, my name is April and welcome to the Yoga Ranger Studio. Today's practice is a requested practice by someone who is looking for a restorative or gentle yoga class for the neck and shoulders specifically. And this request could not have come at a more opportune time as we face kind of the cold season, kind of the hunching over. And also because recently I faced some really interesting tightness in my neck, uh, which resulted in some really huge headaches. This practice, I can say, pretty much cured that. So if you are someone who has tension headaches and some of those are brought on by neck pain and shoulder pain and shoulder tightness, uh, which a lot of us do have because of computers and technology and hunching over, then this practice will help you open this area up. This is also a great practice if you are getting past a cold, congested, really wanna open your heart and your chest up, open your throat, great for the thyroid, because we will be taking a lot of looks at sort of opening this throat area and the side body as well. So kind of an all around practice for everything from here up. You will need a couple of props, and, and in a gentle restorative practice, I look for being really super comfortable. You want to release completely. So soft something underneath if you're on carpet then you are set up if not a soft blanket underneath will make things just a little bit more comfortable a bolster or a couple of pillows off your bed will work in place of that bolster just fine a block or two in case you might need those and we will use those for one pose but you can use a, a small table or another pillow a little throw pillow underneath uh, the head of the bolster for the, that a second blanket that we're going to use rolled up so if you want to start now so that you don't have to think about that in the middle you're gonna take it and just roll it up, make sure it's kind of fluffed up and then kind of pat down the top. We'll use that for a couple of poses coming up. We're gonna start actually standing. So go ahead and take your hands and you're gonna cross right in front of left in eagle arms and just start to let yourself fold forward. You can take your feet wide, as wide as you want. And just let those shoulders soften. Let your hands and elbows fall toward the floor. Let your neck soften here. See if you can bend your knees. Let everything get a little bit looser and let gravity pull you forward. This is a great stretch to take in the middle of the day when you have a lot of electronics or computer work you're doing. Go ahead and release those hands, let the hands hang. And you're gonna grab opposite elbows right in front of left and you're just gonna rock side to side. Take your upper body and just let it swing. You can shake your head out yes and no. And then kind of grab onto your elbows and allow yourself to pull down just a little bit more toward the floor. This is going to traction your back out as well as opening up the shoulders, side body. This also helps your neck realign. So we spend a lot of time with our neck being kind of compressed into the spine. This reverses that flow, allows your neck, those neck cervical spine to sort of release get a little more space in between them. Release those hands. Go ahead and cross left on top of right, in front of right, I guess you should say. Eagle arms again, let those elbows hang, hands hang toward the floor. Now you can take back of hand to back of hand, or you can just cross those arms too. It's not necessarily you have to grab them And just breathe into that upper back space. Feel the shoulders coming down toward the floor and spreading out left and right. Take two more deep breaths. Release those hands, just let them hang. You're gonna take left in front of right. So this is weird, because most people don't think about that. I always take right in front of left, but <laughs> this is the opposite side. Pull those elbows down toward the floor. Shake your head out, yes and no. And 
And go and take your hands down to the floor and come all the way down into a seat. So you can use that bolster to prop yourself up for some of these seated poses. We're gonna take what we call Simhasana or lion's breath pose. And this is really great for jaw tension. So most people don't think about this, but your neck gets tense, all your jaw and your neck are attached. So lion's breath is really simple. You're gonna sit back on your feet if you can. You're gonna inhale, exhale, Stick your tongue out and make the ugliest face you can. And since you're at home, no one can see you, right? We're gonna take three more of those. Inhale, lean forward. Cross your eyes, lean back, inhale. Scrunch up your face. Let your tongue come out really far. Last one. Sometimes we hold a lot of tension in the jaw. So sit up on your bolster. It's kind of a fun pose to do with kids too. They love that. Love lion's breath. Sit up nice and tall. You're gonna drop that right hand over to the right. Drop your left ear over to your left shoulder. And just let that arm get super heavy. If you want to, you can take that left hand and kind of move the shoulder down a little bit more, even weigh it down. But I like to just let it hang out there. Sit up nice and tall, let those shoulders just start to pull toward the floor. There are a lot of really strong muscles running down the side of your neck. Strong muscles that can get very sore and very tight. A lot of people have one side or the other that they get tension headaches start you can kind of feel a knot at the back of your neck in these muscles right in this area. You can often feel when you turn your head like this, a lot of really tight kind of pulling sensation, tension. Bring your chin to your chest, palm back onto your knee. Take a couple of breaths here with just chin to chest. And then drop that right ear over to that right shoulder. Take your left hand down toward the floor. Just let it wave out there and rest. And let the shoulder get heavy. Once again, you can take that hand and just give it a little pressure. Right hand to left shoulder. You can leave that right hand on the left shoulder. And this is a good time to check in. Once again, I said everybody has one side or the other. This is not the side that bothers me. It is the right side. If for you it's a different side, just sort of sense that. Become aware of where you hold your tension left or right. Knowing that will help you treat it and manage it much better. Nice deep breaths. Belly, chest, collarbones, exhale everything out. It's nice to sigh through your mouth too. So you're in the quiet, no one's watching you. Inhale deeply. Open your mouth and just sigh. <sighs> One more, inhale. <sighs> Hand back to knee, chin back to chest. Go ahead and take your hands behind you, interlace them. Just let them sit back behind you, no pulling or anything. Just drop the chin to the chest. Big deep breaths. Gentle sighing exhales. You can still continue to exhale through your mouth if that felt really good. Release those hands back to center. Bring your head back to the middle. We're gonna go ahead and start with our first chest and shoulder opening pose. So take your bolster off to the side. We won't need that right now, but we will need this rolled up blanket. Take yourself right at the base of that blanket with your bum on the floor. 
And once before you get down here completely, take your hips and kind of shift it so that your spine is lengthened at the bottom. Tuck that blanket in between the shoulders. If you're really tall, you can use the, the block underneath your head. But otherwise, just go ahead and take your feet out straight, arms out to the side. You can take them out further if that feels okay for you. And just feel that blanket roll in between the shoulder blades. So in restorative poses, we're here for quite a while, anywhere from four to six minutes. I won't talk a whole lot, but know that I'm still here. Remember that three-part breath, belly, chest, collarbones. And feel that exhale just softening everything. Notice how your back begins to conform to the shape of the blanket. gentle restorative practice our breath our exhale gets a little bit longer in each breath allowing that exhale to lengthen longer than the inhale helps put your body into the parasympathetic nervous system that rest and digest that healing mode that restoration mode this is exactly where you want to be if you are attempting to release a lot of tension, reduce stress, and help soften the muscles. Just one more minute. Imagine your breaths expanding to the left and to the right, forward and back. Taking really rich, full, deep breaths, exhaling slowly. one more deep inhale and exhale inhale really full hold the top for one two 
three, and then exhale it all out, mouth open. Softly bend your knees. Go ahead and roll over to your right side. Slowly press yourself up. We're gonna use the same blanket roll, but we're gonna turn it so that the fringe side is on the other side. Lay right back down. Take your shoulder blades on top of that and then sort of inch your way a little bit more so that your shoulders are just gracing the floor. Here you can bend your elbows. You can cross your legs like Sukhasana pose, easy seated pose. If this is a lot for your neck, you can always take the block underneath your head or sink a little bit further up so that your shoulder blades are more firmly on the floor. Find a place where your arms are supported, your hands are supported, your head is supported. And think about lengthening your neck so that your chin and your forehead are about level or really close. If you have your legs crossed, go ahead and cross the left in front of the right. Change which one is in front. about three more deep breaths here. Okay, start to straighten your legs out. Go ahead and take your left hand out to the left, straight out from the shoulder. You're gonna bend your knees, roll over onto your left side so that you're all the way on your side body. Take that block, put it up above your head. Right arm sweeps up and over and rests on that block. So whatever height you need it to be, you can bend your knees closer or further. We're just gonna be here for about two minutes and you wanna feel the back side of the shoulder on the floor. You feel that right side body open up like a rainbow.
Take some deep breaths into that right side waist, all the way underneath the arm, maybe deep in the arch, and then let everything sink. Deep inhale and exhale. Start to walk that right hand back alongside the hip. Roll that right shoulder back just a little bit. And you're gonna allow yourself to just tilt back onto your back and switch sides. So that right arm's gonna go out to the right. You're gonna roll over to your right side. Move your block wherever you need it to be. Stack the hips, take that left arm up and over wherever your hand needs to be for that block, or whatever height. Roll into the back side of that right shoulder. Breathe into that left side waist, under the arm, shoulder, upper back. Just imagine all the tension just melting. Last deep inhale and exhale. Start to walk that left hand back in, take it alongside the hip, roll that left shoulder back just a little bit. And then take that left hand down and very slowly press yourself back up. So we're gonna take this blanket off to the side Bring our bolster back in line and have our block ready here so because you want to stay on your nice soft surface here bring it a little closer you're gonna lay yourself over this bolster and we're gonna take a little crisscross arms thing here so you want to have it right underneath your chest you're gonna take right underneath closest to your body left a little bit further out and you can rest your forehead on the block. Let your heels fall out to the side. Let everything get a little softer. Palms facing up. Use whatever height on that block you think you might need. Start to let your shoulders drift back toward that bolster, softening away from the ears.
Just two more deep breaths here. Begin to lift your head, unwind your arms, press into your palms, come back into child's pose with your hands resting on that bolster. Let your head sink between your shoulders. You can take your hands super wide if that feels better for your tight shoulders. and start to rock forward and take our second side. Down onto your chest. This time you're gonna take the left hand closest to the bolster, right hand a little further out. Adjust that block wherever and whatever height you need it to be so that your neck is long and supported. If you find you might have slipped back like I feel like I did, you can readjust. Your breath deepen in between your shoulder blades. And shoulders drift away from the ears. Let each exhale sort of soften the back space, the back side of the heart and the shoulders. Let your fingers soften.
Begin to lift your head, uncross your arms. Very slowly press yourself back into a wide knees child's pose. Take your knees a little wider than you did last time and just let your hands drift into child's pose. Extend the arms out, take them wide. Start to bring yourself back up. Get ourselves set up for supported bridge pose. So you're gonna take, I'm gonna go this way in fact. Take the bolster straight down the middle. Have a block at the end in case you want that for your feet. We're gonna take our blanket and we're gonna unroll it a little bit. So we wanna give ourselves a little bit of a neck support but we also want to fold this up to give us a little arm support because we're going to fold. So I like to kind of do like a little double fold so I get a little bit more arm support. I don't need a lot of neck support. I don't have a really deep curve in my neck so I don't need a huge amount. So I'm going to go with a smaller amount. You can adjust this when you get down as well. So go ahead and bring yourself up onto that bolster. You're gonna sit down toward the end because you're gonna kind of inch your way back off the other end. So I like to start really low down on the bolster. And I wanna take it so that my shoulders are on the floor, but that's about it. So if this is a lot for your back, you can always take that block and tuck it underneath your feet. My suggestion here is to take your hands and kind of turn your thighs inward, so separate the lower back. If this is still a lot, you can always keep your knees bent. Okay, so I have a little bit more space up here. Take your arms up and around, interlace your fingers, and you've got a little bit of support here. So what you want is you want your neck to tilt a little bit, so you might have to roll up a little bit more so that you have a little bit of a throat opening here as well. Turn the fingers, interlace, feel that support in the hands, take it up above you. Close your eyes and just breathe. Sometimes in here I like to take my hands up a little bit further and if that roll is getting in your way, you can curve the roll in and take the arms even higher, rest them a little bit more on the floor. It's gonna give you more opening in the arm and underarm area and the shoulders. Allow those breaths to be really deep and full.
one more minute here. Start to release the interlace of your fingers and take those arms out to the side. If you don't have your knees bent, go ahead and take your feet wider than the bolster. Bend your knees. You're going to lift your hips a little bit, take that bolster and shift it down so that your bum lands on the floor and your feet land on the bolster. Take your hands to your belly and just take a couple of breaths here. Let your knees fall open. Take your feet flat and go ahead and roll over to your right side. Take a breath here to pause on your right side. And then press all the way up. Last pose before Shavasana. We're going to take our bolster, prop it up with our block. I'm going to start twisted to my right side, because we twist to our right first. So you're going to take that hip right up against the bolster and then kind of scooch it a little bit away. Hands on either side of the bolster, turn your body so you're going to twist, and then lay yourself down so that your head turns toward the same direction as your knees or the opposite direction, depending on your comfort. Now here you can keep the knees stacked on top of each other, or you can take that left knee out and place it in the right arch. Take that right shoulder away from the ear. your forearms on the floor. You can tuck them underneath the bolster or up and around it.
to walk your hands back and a little bit underneath the shoulders. Lift yourself up and look straight down at the pillow. And then bring those knees back to center. You're gonna to switch to the other side. Just come on to the other hip. Turn yourself around, hands on either side of that bolster. Look down and sort of give yourself that little twist and then lay yourself down. And you can turn your head same direction as the knees or not. Stack the knees or take that right knee back behind into the arch of the left foot. Turn your head fully and just rest it, taking that left shoulder away from the ear. Start to walk your hands underneath your shoulders. Press up, look straight down at the bolster. Just to bring your neck back to center. Stack your legs. We're ready for Shavasana. So we're gonna go ahead and take our bolster sideways. And this is gonna be what's gonna be underneath our knees. We're gonna take our blanket and we're gonna re-roll the end up. So there's a little bit more of a roll for your neck, so you have a little bit more opening. And this is gonna help us tilt our head back just a little bit. 
I'm gonna leave a little extra here just in case I need more cushioning, but I probably won't. We'll just see. Press that down so you have a nice firm roll and you're ready to turn yourself around. So go ahead and take your bum down in between. This may take a little bit of adjusting to get it right where you want it to be. Take that rolled blanket and you want it right underneath your neck so that you have a little bit more opening. So maybe that your forehead is a little bit lower than your chin. This is where your thyroid opening is gonna come in here. If you need a little bit more and that's too much for you, like support, you can fold the blanket over and so it's a little bit more level. This is okay for me. So just fit it right in that neck crease. Settle yourself in. Take your knees, let them fall out to the side. Arms out to the side. You can take them straight out or you can take them just side by your hips. Center your shoulder blades on the floor. Close your eyes and enjoy your Shavasana. And here, pay attention to your breath again, inhaling through your nose, feeling that breath flow down your throat, into the upper chest, down into the center of the chest, down lower into the belly area. And then exhale everything out. Reverse everything up. Allow the breath to expand left and right. Feel your breath expanding so that your back almost reaches the floor. And here we're gonna take some six count breaths and we're gonna hold it at the bottom of the exhale, just for three counts. You're gonna inhale for six, exhale for six, hold at the bottom for three. So just take a nice deep inhale here. Exhale everything out through your mouth. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five, six. Exhale, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold, one, two, three. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five, six. Exhale, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold the breath out, one, two, three. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five, six. Exhale, six, five, four, three, two, one, hold here, one, two, three. Last time, inhale, one, two, three, four, five, six. Exhale, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold, one, two, three, and allow your breath just to be the natural pace. each exhale, feel your body getting a little bit heavier into the floor and into the props. And feel the support of those props 
softness, the relief, the release of tension. Start to deepen your inhale, making a little bit stronger, maybe a little bit faster and fuller. Gently wiggle your fingers and your toes, bring your awareness back to the space around you. Softly bring your feet onto the bolster. Roll yourself over to the right side. You can keep your legs on that bolster. And then press yourself all the way up. You can come back onto that bolster for a seat if you like or not. Keep your eyes closed or open, hands palms up or palms down onto your knees. Gently roll your shoulders up towards your ears and then allow them to soften down your back. On your next exhale, drop those fingertips down to the floor. Inhale, sweep the hands all the way up overhead. Open your eyes, look up at your palms. Exhale, hands to heart. Peace and namaste. I hope you enjoyed this practice and that it helped open this whole entire upper body area, the chest, upper chest, shoulders, collarbones, and your neck and throat to give you a little bit of relief from tension, headaches, and or congestion. Let me know what you think. You can always email me or send me a message anyway on my social media. If you enjoyed this practice, please like and comment down below. And please, if you're not a subscriber, please click that subscribe button and join me for practices every single week like this and other. Check out the YouTube channel and see all the different choices there are for you to fit your time and also your energy level and or what you may need for your body. Have a great day.